My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make a metal arrow in Photoshop. So, um, the, uh, Photoshop has the option to make custom shape tools, and the way you can do this is there's a couple of preset shapes you can make, and there are a couple arrows. So, you go down to your uh, shape tool right below your text tool, and you go and you hold down and go to custom shape tool. And up in the top here, you've got your shapes. So I'm going to select the arrow. And sometimes there won't be all this, all these shapes. So when you're selecting that, you can go to that little arrow there and go to all. And all the shapes will appear. And so I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to start off with my arrow. And I'm going to just rotate it. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rasterize it, and the way I do that is I go to my layer, I hold control, click, and you select rasterize layer. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to select the magic wand tool, which is right below the move tool. And I'm going to select it. Now I'm going to go to the gradient tool, which is right above the burn tool. And the two colors I've selected are actually good. And I'm going to, there's a couple of different gradient options you can select. I'm going to select this one. It's the reflected gradient. And so if you hold shift while drawing this, you can draw a line about that wide and just make sure it goes almost all the way down the middle if you can, but I'm going to reverse the color so that it's like that. And it all depends on where you start your... Okay, good. Let me make it smaller. Okay, so now we've got this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my Layers panel. I'm going to go to Effects, Bevel, and Emboss. And you do inner bevel, but do uh, chisel soft. And then as you can see, when you change the size of the pixels of, like, of the inner bevel, it'll change this. So I'm going to make it so it's kind of like that. You can soften it if you want. I'm going to actually make it so it's not as soft. You can mess around with all sorts of options. The shadow mode. I'm going to make it pretty dark. You can make your depth pretty deep too if you want. You can make the direction change. So I'm going to say OK. And there you have your metal arrow. My name is Alex, and this is how you make a metal arrow in Photoshop. Thank you.